literally within seconds, this tool generates your Etsy description and look at the quality. Imagine if the best Etsy copywriter on planet Earth will write your Etsy descriptions for free in less than one minute. Now, you're probably thinking this is too good to be true, but in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step process to use the easy, free ChatGPT AI tool to write all of your Etsy descriptions for you to maximize your conversion rate and completely transform your Etsy business. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this tutorial. All right, so first things first, go ahead and create a free ChatGPT account. The link will be in the description section of this video along with everything else. So as you can see here, I have ChatGPT Plus, which is $20 a month, but you can do the same thing with a free account and basically the benefit that I get with ChatGPT Plus is that I have access to ChatGPT4 that you see up here. So I'm gonna show you basically the free version, which does an amazing job, and the paid version, which I use, which does an even better job and show you both where you can kind of decide uh, what you wanna use with your Etsy shop. So once you create your free ChatGPT account, next what you wanna do is in the description section, I also have free access to the Etsy description ChatGPT script. So go ahead and access that. Once you have access to this Google Doc, click on File and then make a copy in the top left corner to make your own copy. Basically, from this doc, we are gonna copy and paste prompts into the AI tool and then it's gonna do almost all of the work for us. There's a little bit that we need to do upfront. So as you can see here in prompt number two, what you wanna do is enter in as much information about your product as possible, as you can kind of see here, your product name, your target audience, features, benefits, differentiation, all of that. And basically the more details and information you give to ChatGPT, the better the quality description is gonna be. Because imagine if ChatGPT was a person, right? An actual human being copywriter. And they're like, hey, you know, we're gonna write a description for you. They need to know what your product is. They can't write a description if it's just made up. They're gonna make up things to write about. So you wanna be as detailed as possible, which you would already need to do if you were hiring a professional or if you're doing this yourself to make sure all of your information is organized. So it's not really any extra work. You just wanna make sure that you do this first. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna use an example here. So we have our product type. It's a five-year personal budget spreadsheet. It's a digital product, it's a Google spreadsheet, and we have more details about it here. So that's what our product is. Now we have our target audience because with our target audience, it's going to help the AI tool to then match and best relate to that target audience as possible instead of just having kind of a general audience. So in this case, we're just kind of making this up. Let's say it's married women who desire to get their life and finances on track in order to achieve their life goals. Okay. So I like to say like, you know, group. So this could be married women, you know, soccer moms, for example, or whatever it might be, you know, young single men who desire X in order to achieve Y. That's a general frame that I like to follow, which you can kind of see right here on the screen. So go ahead and kind of fill that out. If you wanna provide more details, provide as many as you like. Next for product features, this is what our product does, kind of how it functions. So describe your product. This product is a beautiful Google spreadsheet where users can input and track their life goals, their income, expenses, retirement contributions. This tool also generates automatic important calculations. You see how I'm not using proper grammar here? It doesn't really matter. Just get your thoughts down on paper and just describe in as much detail as possible. And ChatGPT is gonna be able to analyze all of your data, even if you have ADHD like I do. Okay, so this tool also comes with a full step-by-step -step YouTube video tutorial to make the tool as easy as possible. Easy to use as possible, but they already get that. So easy to use as possible. Doesn't really matter. ChatGPT is gonna pick up on those mistakes and understand what you're trying to get across. After the features, we have product benefits. So benefits are, what does your product do for your customer? You can kind of think this like, if your customer were standing in front of you and you have to describe your product, so it's like, okay, our, our product you know, creates automatic calculations. Envision your customer saying, eh, so what? Like, so what? Who cares that it has automatic calculations? Like, oh, well, then it, it shows you your important expenses for you to reduce, so what? So then you can ultimately achieve your goals faster, right? So having your customers in your head just hypothetically asking, so what? Like, hey, here's what our product does. So what? Well, because then it does this. Well, so what? Well, then it ultimately does this for you. Ah, okay. And the further you go down that kind of line of questioning of asking, so what? Like, what, what's in it for the customer? Like, why would they buy it? Who cares? It's like, well, this is why, right? You get down to the essence of it and the real deep reason why people are buying your product. And if you don't know your benefits or you don't have any, maybe your product isn't worth selling. It's a really, really important point. So really important exercise to go through anyway. Just list some of your big benefits. Like what are the ultimately reasons that someone is buying your product? What does the product do for them, right? Kind of think about their heart where features is more like their mind. 
So here's some examples. Mental and financial clarity. So clears your mind, clears your finances. That's a benefit. Mental and financial peace, feeling of peace. Confidence, easy to use, kind of a mix of a feature. It's easy to use, but it's easy. It's all in one. So it's a one-stop shop. It's convenient. So I could say it's like convenient, easy, things like that. Especially these top ones here, benefits. And again, this does not need to be perfect. That's what's beautiful about this. So just in general, we're just trying to describe the different aspects of our products and we're building into the AI that makes it easiest for them to then kind of spit out the results. All right, next, after product benefits, what makes our product better than all of the other options? Again, if you don't have a product that's better, why are people gonna choose you? So it's important to have this and then you should know exactly what that is. So, you know, this tool is better than printable paper planners because it uses less paper, it's better for the environment, makes automatic visuals, it makes tracking way easier, it's cheaper, et cetera, okay? And we know that our competitors are paper products or digital kind of downloads. And also we're competing with other Excel templates and Google templates. So what makes us better than, you know, we have two types of competitors. We already know why we're better than paper competitors. What makes us better than these other Google spreadsheets that are similar to us? Well, it's more beautiful versus ugly and intimidating spreadsheets. It includes features and functionality that no other spreadsheet does. You can track five years of income and expenses where everyone else is just one year. It's way more comprehensive. That's what makes us better in general. And then the last section here are other important notes. So is there anything important or unique about your product that you wanna make sure is in your product description? Every product on Etsy is different. So we wanna make sure that those unique kind of differences, we have a section there for it. So in this case, this product is a digital product. So customers will not receive a physical product. This is important to note so we don't upset customers. And then that's it. So it's finished. And then we have the rest of the prompt here. So just kind of filling out your differentiation, other notes, benefits, features, target audience, and product name. Fill it out in as much detail as you like. The more, the better. Once that's done, I'm going to show you how the magic happens. Okay. So first thing we're going to do still here in the Google Doc, go ahead and command C to copy all this text here in prompt one. Next, we're going to go to chat GPT, click on 3.5 here. That'll just be the default if you're using a free account anyway. And here in the middle, right, we have send a message, click here and hit command V to paste and then hit enter. So we're basically copying and pasting over. And basically what we ask is, hey, ChatGPT, what's the difference between a well-optimized, high converting Etsy product description and a poorly written, poorly organized, low converting Etsy product description? So what we're doing is we're priming the artificial intelligence. We're having it kind of understand, okay, we're gonna talk about product descriptions. What's the difference between good and bad? That makes the AI think, okay, when they ask me to make a good, I know the difference between good and bad. It seems kind of redundant, but just follow the process and this works super well. So that's step one. What, we just prime the, the AI. And as you can see, right, we have a description of what makes you know good Etsy descriptions different from poorly written and optimized Etsy descriptions. All right, so you can read through that if you like, but we'll go ahead and move on and get our Etsy description created. So, so far, all the work that we put in is basically just creating our free account and filling out our product information, which we probably already have. Next, we're gonna go here, Command Shift and Command C to copy all of the text here under prompt two. We're gonna go back to ChatGPT here and send a message in the same chat right here. Just Command V to paste and hit enter and watch this. What we're asking is for ChatGPT, so based on all the information, act like you're the best Etsy copywriter on planet earth and write us the best highest converting Etsy product description known to mankind that will excite readers into pulling out their credit cards and immediately purchasing. It's very important to be descriptive about the type of copy or the type of Etsy description that you want written. If you just told ChatGPT, hey, write me a good Etsy product description, the results aren't going to be good. It's going to be very plain and boring, but using this type of language, which is already done for you, you just need to copy and paste. Everything's done for you. You don't need to do this, but you can tweak it if you like is helps you kind of create this. So as you see, as I was talking, you see how fast this was literally within seconds, this tool generates your Etsy description and look at the quality. So looking to take control of your finances and achieve your life goals, look no further than our five-year personal budget spreadsheet designed specifically for married women who want to get their lives and their finances on track. Our beautiful Google spreadsheet makes it easy to track your income, expenses, retirement contributions, and more with automatic calculations and a full step-by-step -step YouTube video tutorial. Our five-year personal budget spreadsheet isn't just easy to use. It also offers a range of benefits that will help you achieve mental and financial clarity, peace, and confidence with all-in-one functionality and the ability to track five years of income expenses, retirement goals, and more. This comprehensive tool is the only one you'll need to achieve your financial dreams and so on. You already get the picture here, right? You can read through the rest. 
This is really good quality. For me still, it's not perfect, right? It's really good. And what you can do is after you read through, you're like, okay, if this is good to go, go ahead and throw it in, use it in your Etsy listing. Literally have your professional Etsy description in seconds. It's amazing. What you can do is if you're not fully satisfied is, and we go back to the Google doc, scroll down to prompt number three. Thank you, ChatGPT. Please rewrite this description with X, Y, and Z changes. So if you want to add anything, remove anything, change anything, you know, it's up to you. You can write that in this prompt and then just copy this from the Google doc and then paste here. Like for example, we'll say, thank you, chat GPT. This is great, but make it more selly or yeah, make it more selly, right? We want it more salesy or let's say salesy, I made up word, but we want it to be more salesy. We want it to be more, you know, kind of convincing. I think it's great as is, but just as an example, and we'll see what it does. So I hit enter and look how quick this is moving. You see the difference? You can go ahead and compare this You can pause the video and then I'll scroll up, pause the video here and look at the difference between the two. You can see that it does sound like a salesperson kind of wrote this. So whatever you want to do, you want different tonality, like make it more feminine, make it more masculine, make it more selly, make it less salesy, whatever it might be, you can ask ChatGPT and immediately they'll make that change. So how freaking cool is this? I hope this is blowing your mind because this is amazing. And I'm going to take it a step further here. Okay, we're not done. So that's it for the Etsy description side of things. Very simple and kind of straightforward. And you can do this for free using ChatGPT as of now. Now, anything can happen. Like literally the day after I post this video, ChatGPT could be only paid. Now I do pay for a ChatGPT Pro account. And I'm actually about to show you the exact same process with ChatGPT4, which I believe does an even better job. And I'm gonna show you the difference to see whether it's worth paying for or if the free version is good on its own. So here's what we're gonna do. Go up here and click on new chat. Then from here, if you have the pro account, which is right now $20 a month, very much worth it. I'm gonna select ChatGPT4. And as you can see, 3.5, it ranks really well for speed. ChatGPT4 is low on speed. It's still very fast, but it's extremely high in reasoning and conscientiousness. It's very more human-like and the ultimate results are better. And we'll just go ahead and run through it to see. So click on ChatGPT4. Now, this is gonna be analyzed by the upgraded AI that ChatGPT has. So we're gonna head back to the Google Doc. Again, go through the entire process just as is. I'm gonna Command C, Prompt 1, go back to ChatGPT and Command V to paste, hit Enter. The exact same process as before. And as you can see, the process is a bit slower, but still very fast. This is faster than any human could be typing, and this is the slow version. So it's still great. And you can also look at the response that ChatGPT gives in the 4.0 versus 3.5. You have more bullet points than 3.5 had, and that's ultimately going to play out in the description. So I'll go ahead and kind of let this run. And we head back over to our Google Doc to prompt number two, the exact same prompt that we used before. No changes. Copy everything. Back to ChatGPT and Command V to paste and hit the enter bar. And then we're gonna see, let this run for a little bit and see the end result and compare it to ChatGPT 3.5. We're back on and here is the final result that ChatGPT created for us. So introducing the ultimate five-year personal budget spreadsheet, transform your finances and achieve your life goals with unbeatable confidence. And as you can see, more use of emojis here to make it pop a little bit, which I really like. And I personally use emojis in my own Etsy product descriptions. Are you a married woman who craves financial clarity and a foolproof roadmap to achieving your life goals? Look no further. Our beautifully designed five-year personal budget spreadsheet is the perfect all-in-one tool for taking control of your finances, planning the future, and creating the life of your dreams. Say goodbye to stress and overwhelm and hello to a fresh start with financial peace and confidence. That is not bad at all. And kind of continue reading and something very obvious that you notice aside from the emojis is how ChatGPT4 actually breaks out the information to make it more readable. And there's actually more information in detail here. And in general, you wanna have a longer description than a shorter description because a longer description is gonna contain more keywords. And number two is gonna have more chances of convincing a shopper to ultimately buying your product. So I'll just go ahead and you can kind of pause here. I'll scroll up and pause here as well. So you can kind of, kind of see the entire description laid out. If we go back here to our chat GPT 3.5 conversation, which you can see here in the top of the chat on the left-hand side, click on that. We see our original description. So as you can see a lot less emojis, a lot less broken out and shorter overall, still a very, very good description, still better than the majority of Etsy product descriptions. But as you tell, 4.0 does a much better job overall, really, really powerful. And whether you use the free version or the paid version, 
The ultimate result is Etsy descriptions written in literally less than one minute that are better than 99% of other Etsy listings done for you. And the one kind of downside to using an AI tool thus far is I've tried to work with ChatGPT to automatically have it include important keywords in your Etsy description. Because as you know, it's very important to have your top search most relevant keywords in your description because that's gonna help you rank on Etsy and Etsy search as well as on Google search. So unfortunately, ChatGPT, for whatever reason, doesn't do the best job of taking keywords and putting them into the description. So the only last thing, aside from just kind of reading through this, make sure after you read through and that everything sounds good, go through your keyword list and where it makes sense, kind of substitute certain keywords for keywords in your keyword list. Just kind of make sure that those keywords, as many as kind of make sense that are naturally kind of flow, put those in throughout your Etsy description. And that's gonna also help you increase in keyword rank. If you're not already doing that, that's a huge missed opportunity for a lot of Etsy sellers. Uh, so make sure you do that. And once everything looks good, just kind of as a final measure, what you'll wanna do is copy that description here. And then what we wanna do is paste into a plagiarism checker. So I can just do plagiarism checker online, hit enter. So I used this duplicate checker before. And then what you can do is either upload a file or paste and basically just make sure that you check for plagiarism in most cases, as you can kind of tell, right? This is a very unique description, but just as an added measure of safety, you wanna make sure that ChatGPT isn't copying any other information. In my experience so far, that has not been an issue whatsoever. There'll always be some little minor kind of plagiarism detected, even if there's no plagiarism there, but just a final additional measure. So regardless, like 90% of the work is beautifully done. You don't need to hire somebody and it's better than what you could do and even faster and all you need to do at the end is kind of add in some keywords in there, check for plagiarism. And when everything's good to go, you can copy and paste this into your Etsy listings and move through much faster than you were before. And if you like this video, then be sure to check out our full Etsy playlist where I walk through things like Etsy titles, tags, Etsy ads, and way more step-by-step -step just like this video. And I'll be linking that playlist in the description section of this video along with everything else. So as always, thank you so much for watching and your support. God bless you and your business and look forward to seeing you in the next one.